Uh, a little uh, hazy look start to the day, but it's incredibly steamy because overnight we just continue to pour, pour that westerly wind on shore. And that just keeps it so, so warm and steamy in the morning. You go back to yesterday, 3 o'clock, we hit 97 degrees. But we were in the 90s all the way until 8 p.m. Our 8 p.m. temperature at the airport was still 91 degrees. Right now it's 84 in Tampa, 81's frostproof to Lakeland, to Brooksville, to Ocala. We're on our way back up again. Where are we going? Right to where we were or close to that from yesterday. The winds are relatively light, but again, just that kind of that onshore wind flow and dew points up near 80. We got an 80 dew point in Sebring, 81 frostproof, 80 in Sebring. That is about as high as it gets, so it doesn't get much steamier. And we got a heat index of 91 in frostproof and 95 in Sebring, and it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning. By the way, our heat advisory starts at 11 a.m and goes all the way through the afternoon into the evening until 7 p.m. like it was yesterday. And in that time frame, you're talking about that feels like temperature running 105 to maybe 110 degrees. So again, a very similar setup to yesterday, about between 12 and 2 today. We'll probably get a few coastal thunderstorms, which will then kind of drift inland where we'll get that little sea breeze collision with the East Coast sea breeze. So Polk, Hardy, DeSoto, Highlands County, again, you folks have the best rain chance really of anybody in Central Florida today. So a super steam bath with a few storms along the coast, more inland, your high of 95, which will feel Again, like 105. Warm and sultry tonight. Our low only goes to 80 if we're lucky in Tampa. And then mostly inland thunderstorms again tomorrow with your high around 94. Notice, though, as the rain chance bumps up a little bit, you're going to see that the high temperature goes down a little bit as well. So lower 90s this weekend with more of a 60% rain chance, okay?